Obviously, both teams starting immediately with the smoke. And they're actually heading in the same direction here. We might potentially get a chance for a, f for a uh, minute zero team fight. And the fight is a coming. Into a one shot. Gotta be careful he's not too far ahead. Flame Ray pushing back the Lunar right now. But what a hook there. Comes out from Lil One to make sure they keep the Lunar alive. Reki as well. Maybe in danger. But the Blood Grenade lands onto like four heroes there from Pet Cat. So it's slowing everybody down here from Nick Galaxy. But Reki, I think he knows he's dead right now. Turns around for a little Frost Blast. But there it is. Kuroki's actually the one to get the first blood at the end of the day. It's such easy harassment to come up for one shot. And oof, the uh, Frost. Frost Shield does come out, but it was a little bit too late to actually stop any of that damage. So one shot still takes quite a beating for that one. There you go, man. Just the constant throws. Skewer's going to be there. Blast off. Could have come land, but nice usage there of the Sinister Gaze from Reki. Cancelling out that jump. He might be in danger, though. Well, the bomb doesn't actually land. And Kuroki's going to be one who's getting super low here. Has to pop the sick charge. He's trying to run away. Getting himself into the trees. He's hiding in the fog whilst Reki does die. One shot desperately trying to get the kill. The neutral's not going to be able to steal that one. One shot does at least get something. But at the end of the day, it's a double kill there for Ghost. Seven minute wisdom rune. Lil one. Should be able to get that one off as RMN with the cocktail. Pushes him back. There is going to be the hook, though, which drags him away from the rune. Lil one does secure it. And with the arrival of Stupid Cat, that should be a free kill. And there it is. RMN does go down. Obviously, does equate to the uh, the 3k gold lead in total. It's just so, so difficult in this game. We are down the bot lane. They find another kill on towards one shot. Good hook there from Lil1 at the very least to save his position five. But all it does is delay the inevitable by the looks. As the recce will still fall. And RMN, he's just going to dive underneath the tier one. Why the hell not? There is no level six here for the pubs to try and survive with Dismember. And as a result, it's mega kill there online for ghosts. I mean, I was saying that this is uh, this is going to be a little bit favoring towards Nick with Galaxy in this game. But yeah, this is looking really, really difficult. Stupid Cat as well. Just going to walk straight in towards the mail. Is able to get off the slight fist. But he actually didn't have a remnant already prepared. Has to go for a zip. Should be able to get himself away. Cocktail forwards. The dot damage. Not to be enough. The flame guard is there. Looks like elsewhere the Magnus did actually die at the very least. Pet Cat gets involved for that one. Maybe Reki might still fall. So actually Smell getting hit from the tower. So he does want to dive this. Going to leave it to RMN. And Stupid Cat TP back to base. Gets involved real damn quick. But unfortunately cannot get a solo kill there to try and recover. Actually Smell still trying very ambitiously to poke and prod. Pet Cat's coming through. Still the toss, not too much. The Magnus, which does help. Scam knows there's somebody in the fog. How far does he step forward, though? Ghost is ready for this one. He puts the ward up to the high ground, trying to go for the D wards, but unfortunately he's getting controlled too much. He will lose his life at the start. One shot, though. Trying to do what he can, but there's just no way they're killing this guy. Two braces, plus the casual oblivion stuff. Eh, he's fine. He's okay. Supercat also turning up. Find too much. We're up to, to the uh, north side. Lil One does find RMN, or should I say, Samael has found him. Actually, doesn't he want to focus on towards the Pudge, heading down to the south side instead? They've already got the kill on towards Reki. One shot and Stupid Cat both stuck in the same spot. Goes popping the RP. Doesn't want to use it because of the remnants and Stupid Cat trying to run away. Good hook there from Lil One. Potentially that's going to save his life. Toss though up in one second here. Samael going to throw him on in. Remnant though up towards the north side. Goes chasing him after with the screw up. And there it is. The kill is still found. 13 to 3 is the scoreline. 9k gold advantage right now for Nick Galaxy. Dare I even look at the win probability? I'm going to do it. 96% at just 11 minutes in. Oh, my days. That is really not good. Uh, it doesn't even stop it. Lil One also been found right now, trying to do what he can. Focusing on towards Kuroki. Obviously, punches Tanky there with that Frost Shield, but unfortunately, it just doesn't really make too much difference. He still loses life. Pet Cat now as well with the stolen skewer, trying to do what he can. And now, Reki, can he get to the safety of his base? It looks like he should. And that he will. But unfortunately, it's just another two kills there. But it's just so, so difficult. If you compare net worths, oh, I'll say that. Here at Flame and Lasso, there it is, Lil One. He spends his time protecting his carry, and unfortunately, he still just ends up dying either way. And he can just do whatever he wants. Miracle is literally not threatened on this map. Like, what can any do to actually do anything? Meanwhile, talk about threat. <laughs> One shot is dead. 
He's just gone. Little one attempted the hook, but it was just too little too late. And he ends up losing his life. And just the entire squad it feels here from Anini all gathering up in this left side jungle. Samel, they're just charging in with the haste rune. They're going to start off onto him. And Lunch lands on towards the Pudge. I don't know if they can even take this fight. It's so tanky. Nice chain frost though. That's going to be doing a lot of work. Heavy bounces. No one still dies. Samel's going to be able to walk himself away. Ghost though in too deep to run. And he will get the kill onto the Magnus. Actually a really, really nice trade there for Hanini. And they're not done yet. Good Siren Chains lands onto the support duo. Samel, though, coming in from behind. He's found the Luna, tosses them in towards the rest of Hanini's side. Kuroki doing tons of damage here with the bombs. The stolen blast off there from Pet Cat. Trying to do what he can, but Miracle turns up. RMN actually gets the double kill. And poor old Reki, run, run as fast as you can. There's nowhere to go as he will to eventually fall down. Miracle gets the kill. And that's pretty much a team wipe as the Pudge died earlier on. Unless they're able to catch him before he starts strength morphing. I don't really know if they're going to be able to kill him either. It's really damn difficult. Never mind. Samael's found them instead. Starting off, Lil'one attempting to control up the time. He doesn't do too much. Miracle just flies on in. All the damage in the world. Stupid Cat going to have to try and just run away pretty damn soon as they've already lost the Pudge. Jumps up to the right, back to the left. Will die. They bought back as well onto Pet Cat. Unfortunately, it doesn't make any difference. They're just going to start diving into the base. Why the hell not? Stolen Avalanche trying to keep him alive, but it makes no difference. It's a triple kill there coming up for Miracle. Dio back onto Pet Cat as well. Enigma Galaxy, top of the net worth. Okay, this is deep here from Ghost. Super far in there. He's already used Skewer. All right, okay, this is where the uh, the greed plays come on him. Hanini, <laughs> Hanini dropping the tips. Smell. Quick jump in, found the opportunity to go for a jump onto a little one. And try as he made to survive. Tanky there with the flesh heaps. He does still eventually fall down. But it's just delaying it, you know, trying to buy as much time for the looter to get any farm pos. Oh my lord. That is so depressing. <laughs> just to die that quickly as a pos five, man. That is brutal. At the same time, Kuroki just completed a goddamn E Blade as well. Even more burst damage potential to come on out. And these buildings just drop so quick. All right, that's it. That's the big play. That's the big play here for Stupid Cat. you got a Dagon. Maybe you could burst out Miracle if he's playing a bit too greedy there on low life. Oh, he drops it, but the Strength Morph was just in time. Does manage to keep that Aegis intact. Hook though lands on towards uh, Ghost, but he immediately just silences up there with the Orchid and drags back Lil One instead. Flaming Lasso on towards Pet Cat. Control onto Stupid Cat as well. Oh, he actually jumps to the wrong Remnant, and now he gets caught off. He actually lands onto the Lunar as well. The Chain Frost attempting something does kill Ghost, but they do still lose their two cores. Only one buyback for Lunar, and if one shot is forced to use it, it's just brutal. I mean,. I don't know. This game is 100% over. They were Galaxy of One. But I know the reason why Nini haven't tapped out is because obviously this is just the best of one, guys. Like, it doesn't really matter. And there you go. GG is called. Welcome back. Miracle comes out there for Super Cat because that was just such a solid win. Huge victory there to come out from Nigma Galaxy. Uh, yeah, what absolutely tremendous first game for themselves.